episode of Kid Zone at Home, Christmas edition. A lot of times during Christmas, people like to bake. They like to bake cookies and cakes, and today we're going to make something super fun too. But before we do, I have a couple questions about some other special meals that you might have. Do you know what this is? I bet you know what it is, even before you can see it, you can smell it. Oh, it's popcorn. Do you remember the last time that you got to go someplace special and just eat a whole bunch of buttery popcorn? Where was it? The movies? Yes! And when you eat popcorn, maybe you remember that fun movie you went to go see. I have another one for you, ready? What happens when you see a special cake? Maybe people sing to you? <gasps> it's your birthday, right? Every time you eat cake, maybe you think, oh, I remember my birthday from last year. Or next year, this is what I want my cake to be. Cake is another remember food, just like popcorn is a remember food. I've got one more. This one might be trickier. We do this meal at church together. Everybody gets a wafer or like a little cracker and they get a little cup of wine or juice and they celebrate this meal together. Do you know what it's called? Communion, or maybe you call it the Lord's Supper. This is a special meal we do at church to remember what Jesus asked us to do, to remember that this is his body and he died on the cross for us and that this is his blood and he shed his blood for us. And we take this meal together at church to remember that special night that Jesus gave us these special foods. Well, at Christmas time, we are also talking about something that happened a long time ago. Mary, was visited by this angel. And remember, she was <gasps> terrified. She was scared and the angel said, don't be afraid. Well, we're gonna make a meal today that's gonna help you remember the story. And guess what? It's going to be silly because Miss Caroline is silly. Did you know that? Yeah, I'm pretty silly. But the sillier it is sometimes, the easier it is to remember. So you need some ingredients. I'm gonna push my popcorn over here a little bit. You need some ingredients. I have some special cake, it's called angel food cake. And I have some Cool Whip. I have some jam. I've got strawberry jam. I have some vanilla pudding and I have some raspberries. Today we are gonna make Pondering pudding, that's right. Pondering pudding, it's gonna be fun. And you have to get all these ingredients and put them together. So at the bottom, you have to get a spoon. We're gonna make layers with our food today. It's going to be something called a trifle. Okay, it's got layers, it's gonna be colorful and fun. So at the very bottom, you're gonna put some of this jam. It's gonna go at the bottom. Okay, then next, you're gonna need some of this Cool Whip. Use this knife, put some Cool Whip in there. I like Cool Whip. Woohoo, right there, okay. And then we need some raspberries or any other kind of berries. I like raspberries and it's Christmas time and they're red, so it kinda goes. Okay, put some raspberries in there. Okay, next we need some of our pudding. Some of this vanilla pudding in here. And this is a fun treat because as you eat down in your cup, you're gonna get to tell the story. Okay, and on the very top, we're going to put some of this angel food cake. And I'm gonna cut a piece of it, but we have to kind of crumble it up Angel food cake is so fun because it's light, kind of fluffy, almost like a marshmallow. You put little pieces on the top. Okay, there you go. 
and we have our pondering pudding trifle. And the fun part now is that we get to eat. On the top is our angel food cake. And you remember that the angel came to Mary and he told her some incredible news that she would be the mother of Jesus. But the angel came from heaven and spoke to Mary. That's what the angel food cake reminds us of. The next layer that we have is our pudding layer. And we can call this perplexing pudding. Do you know what the word perplexing means? I can make a perplexing face. or pondering pudding, pondering. Because when the angel came to Mary, he told her that she was favored and loved by God and Mary was perplexed by his words and pondered at what they could mean. So this pudding helps us remember the angel's words to Mary. The next layer are these Mary berries. They're happy little red berries and you know what? Raspberries kind of are shaped like hearts. See, Mary was told that she was highly favored, that she was loved by God. And you know what? You and I are also highly favored. God loves us. That's why he sent Jesus. And these berries help us remember that. Are you getting full yet? We've got two more layers to go. The next one's my favorite. Are you ready for this? It's Jesus is cool whip. <laughs> Jesus is cool whip. Mary was told that she was going to have a baby and his name was going to be Jesus. Jesus was going to be the savior of the whole world. Jesus was going to be born and grow up and do incredible things. He was going to raise people from the dead and show them God's love. If anyone is cool, it's Jesus. And finally, at the very bottom, the very bottom of our cup, our cup, we have the jam. It's called Here I Am Jam. Because after the angel told her all these incredible things, Mary didn't run away scared. She didn't say, no. No. She said, here I am. I am the Lord's servant. And she pondered these things in her hearts and she praised God. Here I am. It's on the bottom of our trifle because it's, it's a pretty important thing for us to remember. We can say that to God too. God, here I am. Use me to do big things for you. Use my hands, use my feet, use my pudding. Use me. When you pray tonight, ask God that. God, how can you use me? How can I tell other people the Christmas story? Even if it's with something silly and yummy as pudding. Have a great week and I will see you here again next time.